Drew and Jonathan Scott here to tell you that American Family Insurance wants to protect your dreams. So whether you're at home singing in the shower, every note, or prefer singing your heart out in the car like Drew, cruising, you can save up to 23% when you bundle your home and auto insurance with American Family Insurance. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. Visit amfam.com to learn how discounts may apply to you. American Family Mutual Insurance Company, SI, and its operating company, 6000 American Parkway, Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. Okay, hackers, that's what they do. They hack. A 19-year-old hacker says that he was able to remotely open all the doors and windows of some Tesla cars across 13 different countries. Turn on the radios, flash the headlights, even start the engine. And this is the really frightening part, began keyless driving. Wow, let's think about something. That's the Tesla. I mean, imagine missing a payment on Tesla. I mean, the car could just drive itself back to the dealership and say, here, here I am. Okay, don't laugh. That's totally possible. And you see, it's just an example of the wealth of knowledge that you get here, you know, hour after hour as we talk about everything digital and you live the best digital life. And it's the nation's largest show about all things digital. It's called the Kim Commando Show, of course, because I'm Kim Commando. Funny how that works. America's digital goddess. And you can find us on over 425 top stations from coast to coast. And we're streaming in your favorite radio app. And we're streaming as a podcast, a webcast, commercial free, uh, 24-7 over at getkim.com. And a special thank you goes out to all of our listeners on the American Forces Network Radio. And our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open at one 825 5254 is the way to join us. And if you're like me, you appreciate everything the brave folks in our U.S. Armed Forces have done for us. And let's honor them this May during Military Appreciation Month. My dad served during the Korean War, and his military medals shine under my office lights, proudly honoring his memory. I just love to see them. And like I'm committed to honor his service, T-Mobile is committed to serve those who serve. That's why they're a nationally recognized military-friendly employer on their way to hiring 10,000 military veterans and their spouses by 2023. I just love that. And T-Mobile is offering exclusive savings to military families. Active-duty military and veterans get four lines of unlimited on T-Mobile's network for just $25 a line. That's 50% off family lines. Yeah, 50% off. So if you're an active-duty military or a veteran, visit T-Mobile.com or stop by a T-Mobile store today and see for yourself how T-Mobile is committed to serving those who serve. Pricing with AutoPay. Sales tax and regulatory fees included in rate plan price. Half off additional price for lines 2 to 6 versus Magenta. Verify military service within 45 days or pay up to $20 more per line per month. Customers using more than 100 gigs a month may notice reduced speeds during congestion due to data prioritization. Video typically in SD. And I'd also like to thank Simply Safe for helping to make this show possible. Uh, Simply Safe customer Terry was recently away for the weekend at her daughter's wedding. Now, the morning of the big day, she got a call from Simply Safe's 24-7 professional monitoring. Simply Safe had detected water in her basement just moments after the leak started. Time was critical. Even an inch of flooding can cause more than $25,000 in damages. After speaking to Simply Safe, Terry called her neighbor, who quickly turned the water off before the flooding got bad. Now, protecting against floods is just one of the many reasons. More than 4 million people trust their home protection of Simply Safe. With a comprehensive Simply Safe system and 24 7 professional monitoring, you can have someone always looking out for you, just like Terry. Plans cost less than a dollar a day with no long term contracts or hidden fees ever. You can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafekim.com. If you go today, you get to claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off inter- interactive monitoring. That's all at simplysafekim.com simplysafekim.com. All right, let's talk about future tech. So you get a glimpse of what's to come in the world of technology. And we're going to start with a tractor. What sounds more low tech than a tractor? Hardly anything. Well, John Deere, the company that was founded back in 1837, you know about those iconic green tractors? They are now shipping a fully autonomous tractor. Wow. Now, it isn't just a self-steering tractor, okay? They've been making those for about 25 years. This one is controlled by a smartphone and the ability to plot where it's going to be plowing. It has all the bells and whistles. Think about this on a tractor. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, six cameras. 
360 degree obstacle detection. Now, the tractor didn't go all electric. I'm actually surprised by that. It runs on traditional diesel. And here's the deal. It's pretty expensive. You ready? $300,000. Well, they say that's about in line with a regular tractor. But, you know, just think about the opportunity for a future country song. You know, you picked a time, time to leave me, John Deere, right? It's a John Deere letter. Get it? John Deere. I'm sorry. All right, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Uh, number two, Amazon wants more of your data. So you got Alexa on your kitchen counter. Maybe it's built into your refrigerator. Uh, Alexa is now going to be in your fridge too. That's right. And it's going to have tech that's similar to the Amazon Go system in that when you take things in and out of the refrigerator, it's going to be keeping track of it. What's on the inside, it's going to learn what kind of food that you usually buy, what you like. So it can make suggestions when you're running low. And probably at some point, just go ahead and send you whatever is running low. And you have to buy your food from Amazon Fresh or Whole Foods. Um, you also get recipes. And if they're smart, they're going to end a feature, though, I think. I really think that that we should have a feature on our refrigerators that will send you like a push notification that the moment that the vegetables are getting moldy, I mean, it, wouldn't that be nice, right? It'd be like a spoiler alert. Thank you. Uh, number three, when your owie needs a smart Band-Aid. Bandages and Band-Aids. We haven't really seen a lot changing on that over the years, except for thanks to some scientists in the University of Bologna in Italy. Yes, while they were eating their pasta, they dreamt of this. It's a new smart bandage that can tell doctors when the wound has healed. And this way you don't have to remove the bandage to actually check. So there's a sensor built into the bandage. It reads moisture levels coming from the skin. And then once the data is collected, it's transmitted to an app. Of course it is. Uh, they say that it's not going to cost a lot of money, but it's going to be a while before we get them. They're not even saying when. Uh, number four, let's talk about military uniforms. That's right. The U.S. military, they're always looking for new ways to build some tech into of their uniforms. Um, and now they have some wearable tech. And it's not a typical headset that you might be thinking of. The are uh, researching microchips that could be weaved into the fibers of a military uniform. The polymer fibers, they say, could contain tiny microchips, hundreds of them. And then think about this in a military uniform. So excited that the fibers could record, store, and transmit the data. Could also generate power, protecting the soldier uh, wearing it. It could alert others if a service member is wounded. And these are the Army uniforms of the future, they're saying. It's going to monitor the health metrics, heart, respiratory rate, body temp, muscle, muscle data. Uh, they've been developed already by some researchers over at MIT. Uh, according to the Army, these fibers are so thin and flexible enough to pass through a needle. Wow. And enough to power AI applications. And finally, number five, say goodbye to messy burritos. Yes. Okay. I love a good bean burrito or a taco. But the problem is the filling and it falls out. Okay, welcome to Future Tech, a new world order where burritos stay burritos in tech. A group of super smart engineering students from John Hopkins University, they've come up with this new invention using technology. They're calling it Tasty Tape, edible sticky tape designed to hold a burrito together while it's being eaten. That's right. They don't want to say what's inside of it, but they do say that all the ingredients are safe to consume, food grade, and are common food and dietary additives. Okay. Just want to tell everybody who's listening and also to the researchers at John Hopkins, I love this. I think it's a great idea. But any Mexican grandmother will tell you that if you have an issue, which you really shouldn't if you fold the burrito the right way, you simply use a tiny bit of water and flour and you can mix it like glue. That's right. But now we have some high-tech tape for burritos. I'll tell you, I really like burritos. I could taco about them all day. <laughs> all right, let's talk about NetSuite. School's out for summer, but if your business is running QuickBooks, you never get a break. QuickBooks manual processes, integration difficulties, and glitchy delays will leave you scrambling. Now, failing to graduate to NetSuite will leave you stuck in summer school while your friends are partying. NetSuite by Oracle is the number one cloud financial system. No matter how big your business grows with visibility and controls, your financials, your inventory, HR, e-commerce, and more. NetSuite is everything that you need to grow all in one place. Automate your processes 
with NetSuite. Close your books in no time. 93% of survey businesses increased their visibility and control since graduating from QuickBooks to NetSuite. And right now, NetSuite's offering a one-of-a-kind financing program, so graduating has never been easier. Head to netsuite.com slash Kim right now. It's my top pick for businesses to take their financial management to the next level. That's netsuite.com slash Kim, netsuite.com slash Kim. All right, still to come, we're going to be talking about some cryptocurrencies and what's going on with that. And also a quick tip on how you can stop your ex from popping up in your memories. And we have more of your phone calls here on the Kim Commando Show. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. Hey, our T-Mobile Unlimited listener line is now open. Love to hear from you. And if you're too shy for national radio, it's okay. You can still email me and I read every single note. Just head over to commando.com. And in the top right-hand corner, there's a link that says email Kim. All right, I got to tell you about LinkedIn. LinkedIn Jobs makes it quick and easy to filter and prioritize who you'd like to interview and who you'd like to hire. You can create a free job post in minutes to reach your network and beyond. I love LinkedIn. Post your job for free right now. Do it now at linkedin.com slash Kim. Terms and conditions apply. That's linkedin.com slash Kim. All right. We all have that certain person that maybe we don't want to see in our photo memories when it pops up. I mean, maybe it's your ex after a bad breakup, or perhaps it's just too soon after a loved one has passed. That's my case. I had a, I had to like, you know, not see pictures of my mom for a long time. Um, or maybe a pet has passed to be reminded of the good times that you shared. Well, here's how you can hide your photos, but you're not going to delete them. And why don't we start with the big dog? We're going to start with Google Photos. So it's really easy to do. You just tap your profile photo, select photo settings, go to memories, and then you can hide people and pets. Now, you're also going to see a grid and you can mark those who you wish to hide. You can select a date too. So Maybe you think you'll be ready to see all those photos again and maybe in just a a couple of months or maybe a couple of weeks. Now, if you're using Apple Photos, it works pretty much the same way. You're going to go into albums and people. You select the person and you say feature this person less or individual shots are blocked, but you may still see that person in group shots. And if you don't want to do that, then it's like never feature this person. So if you need these exact steps, hit the website at commando.com. Stay right where you are. Crypto news is coming up. How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. All right, let me tell you about ExpressVPN. Your internet provider can store logs of every single website you've ever visited. I trust ExpressVPN's trusted server technology to protect my online privacy. And I'll tell you, I had a great 
call the other day with the chief engineer at ExpressVPN who actually explained everything to me, how ExpressVPN cannot save things on their logs or on their hard drive because it's all done in RAM. You can get three months free on a one-year package at expressvpn.com slash Kim. That's expressvpn.com slash Kim. All right, still to come this hour, we're going to have telltale signs that your computer hard drive is failing. And also the answer to the question, how many steps should you be really taking per day? What do the scientists, what do the research say? And of course, we have joining us right now, our very own crypto gal, Ali Seligman here on the Kim Commando Show. Hi there, Ali. Hello, Kim. So, you know, I get the calls here on the show and it's always somebody who says, they do, they sound like this, Ali. <laughs> You say, Kim Commando. Uh, Kim Commando. <laughs> That's who they say. Kim Commando. I know if anybody knows this that I can trust you. How do I make money mining cryptocurrency? Even in the crash. I mean, maybe now's a good time to start mining <laughs> cryptocurrency. I mean, you know, because I'm certain like a lot of people got out of it, right? I mean, like, why would they do it? Um, is it a good time to start mining? I am going to shatter hopes and dreams and hearts one more time and say... No, unless you are willing to put in a lot of time and a lot of money to go up against these companies that have invested, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars just in the hardware alone, it's it's not going to happen for you. I know. It just reminds me, I know we already talked about this once on the show, is about that story that was in Business Insider about the two kids who are making like, I don't know, a million dollars a year. And then mm -hmm. you start, then you start going into it, it's like, well... Not really. <laughs> <laughs> they they have space at a data center and they pay IT pros to to man it for them. Yeah, it's it really adds up. And the other big expense is power, right? So it leads me to the latest report from the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance, which is a very fancy name. And the thing they do that we care about is they put out this report on how much power is used to mine Bitcoin and which countries are doing this the most. Okay. The latest report, it looked at September, last September to January. And for the first time, it's pretty cool because it actually breaks down the states in the U.S. that mine the most Bitcoin, which oh, we'll get to. You, okay. I was going to say, we should, okay, if, if you're just joining us right now, we want <laughs> you to guess, okay, yes. and, and say it out loud and, to all your family members and friends right now. <laughs> Shout it out. Okay. And if you're in the Commando Community Chat, you can just go ahead and post it right now. And the question is... Allie, which state mines the most? Yes, which state in the U.S. mines the most Bitcoin? We'll get to that in a minute. First, which country mines the most, Kim? China? It used to be, but no. Ooh. Now the U.S. is the leader, about 39%. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. What yeah. happened to China? Well, last year, Bitcoin mining was declared oh, well, that's illegal. right. I totally forgot about that. But here's the little twist. So it did go down to zero for all intents and purposes in these reports. No, no more mining in, in China. Well, that didn't last. The mining is still happening. It's just happening Ill illegally. And they're <laughs> okay. back up to 21% of the overall mining activity in the world. So, so that whole Bitcoin ban in China really didn't... It didn't seem to take. <laughs> yeah, it really... You know, it's funny how, like, sometimes, you know, and they... they but you, people still can't, like, get through the great firewall, so to speak. It, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Anyway, so back to the U.S., where is the most mining happening? The top state... It was shocking to me. If you asked me, if you said, okay, Allie, $1,000 bet, you have to pick a state, I would have picked Texas. You know what? I was just going to say Texas. Yep, that would have that would have been my guess, I was, too. Because I was thinking, you know, you've got Austin, Dallas, Houston, you know. Lots, lots of, of cheap wind and solar yes. power, which, you know, going with that renewable energy is really what miners are looking for. But no, number one, at a whopping 31%, Georgia. 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 Are they using peaches? Like what? what's yeah, happening Yeah, what's going here? on in Georgia? Uh, well, they're a very crypto-friendly state. Um, lots of tax breaks. They make, there's a lot of incentive for people to come there okay. and do it. So that's number one. Texas is number two at 11%. Remember, Georgia at 31. So it's wow. far and away the leader. And then we've got Kentucky, uh, New York, and California rounding out the top five. Wait, you know what? I'm sorry. The outlier there is Kentucky. Yes. Another one where... It, it's a crypto friendly state. The politicians are saying, come on, come here, get some cheap power. Let's do this. So, yeah. So, people so in. is that what they're getting? Cheaper power? I mean, do they get cheaper power if you're mining versus somebody else? In some cases, there is a special deal in Georgia for some of the miners where they are getting power cheaper. Um, yeah, that's that's really what this all comes down to. Right. Because 
mining this cryptocurrency, mining Bitcoin, requires a lot of power. Aside from all the equipment, that's the other huge expense. Once you have all the stuff, okay, you just have to pay to run it all the time. So miners look for the most affordable energy. They go to those places. But then what happens? When the demand goes up, the price goes up, right? Right, yes. Like Economics 101. UC Berkeley actually did a study. They looked at, it was just upstate New York, and they said, all right, based on the Bitcoin mining that's happening here in upstate New York, what's the impact like on everyday people and businesses and their energy bills? Get this. It pushed up the power use, it pushed up the annual electric bills by $165 million for small businesses and $79 million for individuals, which breaks down to, I think for regular you know, households, it was like 10 bucks a month higher, but that's not nothing. Right. No, it yeah. does. I mean, you start adding it all up and you see, gosh, yes. A lot of money. And that's mostly because until recently, there's no incentive for power companies to generate extra power. And so, you know, it just goes in this normal supply and demand until now when you can make a lot of money with extra power. And that's when you start to see cool innovation happening. So over in Texas, ground just broke on this massive solar and battery powered Bitcoin mine. This thing is aiming to be this completely sustainable. It runs on Tesla's solar and storage and all that. Wow. And I think the thing that's really cool about it is once it's up and running, there's going to be a dashboard online that anybody can go to and you can see how much power are they generating and how much money are they making? How much Bitcoin are they actually see, mining? Now that, see, that kind of uh, that kind of like uncovers the curtain. I mean, exactly. So that this way we can really see. I'm still surprised about Texas, but I think um, I think I'm going to move to Kentucky. What do you think? <laughs> I think or the Kim Commando show is going to be originating from Kentucky. Allie, thanks for all that insight about mining and just kind of like and now we have to see like if anybody in the community actually got it right as far as Georgia. <laughs> Maybe we should move to Georgia. Hey, Allie, thanks for being here. Thanks for that insight. Sign up for a really great tip. And this week is brought to you by iDrive. And they just keep earning praise. Leading tech publication, PC World, just named iDrive the best overall cloud backup solution for 2022. And after testing against the other top cloud backup solutions, PC World noted iDrive remains the most comprehensive online backup service. That's why I've been recommending iDrive for years. It's simply the best cloud backup service available. It's easy to use, affordable, includes generous backup space, and you get plenty of room. iDrive can be used to backup all your devices, your PCs, your Macs, your servers, your smartphones, and more, all into one account. With their industry standard encryption, state-of-the-art security, rest assured your data is safe. I love that I can automate backups and never have to worry about running out of space and plan super affordable. Start less than $7 a month. Use my name, Kim, at checkout. You'll get 90% off the first year. Head over to iDrive.com and use my name, Kim. iDrive.com, use my name, Kim. You might need them if your hard drive, because it usually only lasts three to five years. When it dies, poof, goes all your files. So if your computer is sluggish, a reboot doesn't fix it, it's a possible sign the hard drive's not in great shape. Be aware of any strange noises, any clicks and buzzes, especially anything that sounds like a cat meowing. You might hear some warning beats, might not, don't ignore it. It's not difficult to replace a hard drive, but if you don't know what you're doing, just let a local repair, repair shop just do the job for you. Hey, stay right where you are. We have more of your phone calls coming up. And then later on, how many steps a day should you be taking on that wearable here on the Kim Commando Show? How'd you like to hear about how I saved $456 in just five minutes? I used an app called Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Can you remember all the free trials and all the other random subscriptions that you've signed up for? Of course you don't, and that's what they're banking on. I love that with Rocket Money, I can see all of my subscriptions in one place. Then if I see something I don't want, I just tap to cancel, and I never have to get on the phone with customer service. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. Stop wasting money on things that you just don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash Kim. That's rocketmoney.com slash Kim, rocketmoney.com slash Kim. 
This portion of the show has been brought to you by RoboForm. If you're tired of writing down passwords, you don't have to do that anymore. RoboForm Password Manager makes life easier and more secure by logging you into websites with just one click. That's it. You get 50% off at RoboForm.com slash Kim. That's RoboForum.com slash Kim. All right, you just heard me talk up to Ali about Kim Commando today. That's our brand new podcast. Comes out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's why it's called mm, Kim Commando Today. Yes, I knew you were so smart. So wherever you get your podcasts, whether that's Apple, Google, Pandora, Spotify, you name it, just search for Commando with a K and make sure that you get Kim Commando Today. All right, back to the phones we go with Stephen in Chicago, Illinois. Hello there, Stephen. Hi Kim, welcome. What's I'm going a, on? I'm a long time. I'm a long time fan. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. You're so kind. Um, I'm trying to simplify my contacts. Yeah, I have multiple entries for just like one person. Now, to take my example, my sister. I got the, her last name. There's four four entries for her last name, and then there's a uh, just an initial like E. Her name is Phyllis. Her last name, I don't know if I could say her last name or no, not. No, I don't say her. You don't have to say her last name. Whatever her last so name is. E, so it's E. Fellas. And then there's four four entries for the whole the full name, E. And Phyllis. And it's just... <laughs> and, and when she calls, it's like uh, a, call, a call from Phyllis and plus four five others. You know, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a crab shoot. It's like, okay, which Phyllis is going to be today? Come on, come on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's really easy to fall into this trap because when you're using um, you're using your iPhone or Apple Mail or whatever, it'll say, do you want to update your contacts? Because maybe Phyllis changed the way that she changed her name, right? And right. then you say, sure, I would like to update my contacts. Why would I not want to update my contacts? OK. And then suddenly you have one, two, three, four Phyllis's sitting in your phone. And to clean out your contacts, uh, it can be a bit of a nightmare doing it on your phone because, well, it's it's a pain in the neck. It is. It's not easy. You've got to open up the contact. You've got to edit. And then you've got to find the delete. And then you're like, OK. That takes 30 seconds per contact. I actually did this myself recently while watching Netflix, and I find that to be a very productive use of my time <laughs> is, to, is, to, is to clean out my, my <laughs> photos and to actually clean out my, my uh, contacts as well. If you want to do it an easier, better way than on your phone, Stephen, is that you sign into your iCloud account. So you got iCloud.com. You use your Apple ID, you know, username, password, sign in. And then there's a contacts button. And then what's nice is that you're able to go ahead and clean up all your contacts without necessarily doing it with just your phone and your thumbs. And so that's your first step is to sign on to iCloud. Now, if you're looking for a way to, you know, kind of look, to do this semi-automatically, okay, is that there's a couple of apps you can check out. Uh, one is called Contacts Plus. Contacts Plus is really if you have tons of contacts and you want to separate them by, say, family members and friends and doctors and professional and business associates and good stuff like that. Um, you could get up to a thousand contacts, but there is a cost. I mean, it's going to have everything in the cloud. You're going to give you a lot of features and kind of turns into a little bit of a, a CRM for you too. It's about 10 bucks a month. You can try A to Z contacts and there's also another one called Card Up. I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll put a link to all three of these over inside the Commando community. That's commando.com slash community and hit the Q&A forum. Stay right where you are. We have a free security cam software to tell you about here on the Kim Commando Show. Now, in your home, you probably have a security camera, maybe two, but here's what you have going on. If you have a laptop or desktop, you can actually turn that into a security cam, too, because what? It has a webcam. There's this Critter Dot camera, and it's absolutely free. It does takes two minutes to calibrate a test, and then it stores everything locally right on your device. We have a link to it over at commando.com. You can also set it to do not disturb so a call or text doesn't ruin your recording. So, again, it's Critter Cam. It's a great way to turn your laptop or desktop into a security cam. And don't forget, the show never ends 24-7. You can find me at K-O-M-A-N-D-O.com. Come. Yes.
You got me. It's Kim Commando today, and I'm here with you just the facts and tips you need to thrive in our digital world, or as I like to say, to live the best digital life ever. Tax day is coming. Oh, no. But if you sign up for Robinhood Gold's IRA with a 3% match, you can get up to $195 for the 2023 tax year. Oh, yeah. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash boost by tax day to get the biggest contribution match on the market. Subscription fees apply. You know you Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Robinhood Financial LLC member SIPC. Before Shopify, were you wondering, where are my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen.